My name is Dan Hanrahan. I'm 62 years old. I have spent my life in Los Angeles creatively as a graphic designer, illustrator, art director, and creative director. I've worked for the movie industry, the record industry, the TV industry, and the radio industry. My claim to fame is that I am the creator of the Scarface poster. My advice for anybody around the world that wants to live and work in Los Angeles is be in Los Angeles. Most people in my profession have a portfolio that they would bring to interviews. That, of course, is a large part of it being a visual science, graphic design art, but it's not the whole thing. The thing that I'm looking for in, in an artistic talent is, uh, is, is the ability to communicate, not only visually, but verbally, and a sense of freedom about that that they're not locked into any little kind of thing necessarily, that they that they're, have a broad range, and that they're fearless. When I started out, um, I'd mentioned that I had this portfolio full of nude women and stuff, man. It was a life class in college drawing, and uh, I, I had no relevance. None, none of my work had relevance at all. It didn't have any relevance to anything that was being done in the agency, and yet what they saw in me was ability. Certainly I had could show that with the work that I had, but this just insane drive to want to learn and to absorb. I was like a sponge, a dry sponge, ready to be wet down with whatever it is they had to show me. And then I would take that and run with that, and they got that. They got that right away. I was hired in the day. There's Art Center here in Los Angeles, and those kids come out of Art Center, and they have portfolios that are better than anything I did after 35 years of being in the industry in the sense that it's technical, it's right, the arrow shoots right at the center of the target, it's right what, what art directors and creative people want to see exactly. It's far more important to be uh, enthusiastic about what you do or don't have. And it's far more important to be uh, present to the, to the process of what it is that you want to do. Like, I really want to do this. The creative process is to open your head up to the universe, really, and just and go up there and find something to grab a hold of and bring down and throw on a piece of paper. Hey, let's look at this. That's true creative. There is no management in that part. That's why it's important to give creatives that, that space to be able to go off and do that. The management happens when it comes down and it's on the planet then. That's when it's, or when it's not happening fast enough to get down and in and on the paper from the universe. So management in terms of people is about number one, being related to the people that you work with. Having those people trust and believe in you as a, as a, as a leader. There is no formula for how somebody out there gets from there outside looking in to being in and warmed by the fire. It's my experience for years and years and years is that people may flounder for a while, but they'll always get in somewhere. They'll always find a place. Tenacity is very important. Create that inside spark that will have you go out there and get a job. You know, creative energy in one person is a finite amount of energy. The creative people energy in another person is finite energy. But when you put those two together, it's synergy. It's bigger than the, it's finite as well, but it's bigger than the sum of the two parts. So if I'm five and he's five, we go together, we're not 10, we're 20. And you put five people in a room and you do that, and you get that connection going where everybody is vibing on the same wavelength and everybody's shooting stuff back and forth. It doesn't make any difference about being polite or having etiquette or raising your hand or being appropriate or inappropriate. It all goes on the table and it all starts to work. That kind of synergy is communication. That kind of synergy is the connection that people have. We are not separate individuals walking around the planet. We are a commune. We're a family on the earth and we all fit together. <laughs>